The Gospel of June the 30th, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Who indeed is Jesus? Jesus got into a boat. Many of our forefathers, the church fathers, referred the boat to his church, the Ecclesia. Many of them referred to the Catholic Roman Church. Many also of the bishops and priests tried to refer to the Catholic Church exclusively as the boat of salvation. But thanks to God and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our even our Roman Church changed. And I have to correct myself before someone calls me. But went back to the roots of itself by the Second Council of the Vatican. In the Apostolic Constitution of Lumen Gentium, the light of the people, chapter 8, there are these beautiful words, Ecclesia Christi subsisted in Ecclesia Romana. That means the Church of Christ subsists in the Roman Church. The conciliary fathers were careful not to say est, is, but subsisted. Because we realize nowadays that the salvation of the Lord, that even His Church, cannot be limited by the walls of the Vatican. Just as this Pope Francis is teaching today, Peter, primum inter pares, first among equals, last year going to find his brother Andrew in the person of Cyril, of Kirill, in the person of the Orthodox, of the Baldeans, of the Pentecosts, of all the brothers in Christ. We, as we embark on the same boat as the Lord, and as we suffer the tribulations of life, all of us personally and as society can from time to time ask the Lord, why are you sleeping? It might seem in our lives that the Lord is sleeping, that even if I have ordained myself, even if I have consecrated myself in a religious life, even if I have devoted myself to the work of Christ, even if I go to the Eucharist every day and pray every day, it seems that the tribulations are like waves that swamp us, that are drowning in us. And we are tempted to cry out to the Lord, Lord, wake up, we are perishing, save us. Just imagine the scene of the gospel. Yes, of course, there are big waves swamping and the Lord is asleep. There would naturally would come a time when enough water would be there for him to wake up naturally. And then he would have to do something. He would have had to do something. But they are afraid. They don't want to go to the limit. They wake him up before. And he rebukes them. Why are you terrified? Indeed, why? 
Why are you terrified? Why are we why are we worried and afraid? Are we not in the hand of God? And this God, this Jesus, whom we receive hopefully daily on the Eucharist, is he not the one that can command the sea, the wind, the sun, the universe, that gives life, that gives ill, that heals? Is he not the one? Then why are you so afraid? Let us look into our lives. Let us see how we are following the Christ. I agree with you, it's not easy to walk with him. The Lord says, the kingdom of God is, do is only for those whom are violent. Not that I should be violent against any other one that I should make violence to, against myself, against my comfort that separates me from my brothers and from my God, against my laziness, against my pleasures that might separate me again from my, from my God and from my brothers. That is a type of violence, against the fear that makes me tremble when I don't see the horizon that is clear, when I am invited to walk in this valley of death, in this valley of darkness. But just remember that beautiful psalm, psalm number 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I need nothing. And even if I walk in darkness, you are with me, you guide me. And I will live in your house for days without end. Do not be afraid, I feel the urge to talk to you who are listening today, you that have been suffering so much, the Lord is with you. He has never left from your sight, even more than your sight. He is within your soul. He sustains you. Look for Him inside of you. Pray, ask Him, Lord, sustain me. Show me your love. And even if I have to suffer through all of this, sustain me, that I may rejoice in the morning after I pass from this world into your presence. Your hey brother, when you get there, remember this sinner and all your brothers that are sinners and enjoy the light that has no end until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers. <laughs>